Hello guys. So you may be wondering why I have this thing. It's kind of weird to be honest. I'm going to talk about a famous world map called the Mercator Projection. Uh, maybe it's not a common name, but it's very common. Um, pull up an image real quick. I can do that. Hang on. Let me pull up the image of a Mercator Projection. It's extremely popular. It's used all around the world. But, whenever I pull up the image, okay, y'all might have seen this map. No, that's not the right one. This one. Makes some countries extremely large. That's not really a country. And some tiny. Some barely even on the map. And then like the like the the, the Greenland and Africa are not the same size. They're nowhere close. In fact, Greenland is fourteen times smaller than Africa. Fourteen times smaller than it is on the map. Which is why I'm going to talk to you about how the Mercator projection works. So I've got a projector, okay? Hang on, make sure it's still recording. But I've got a projector, okay? And so we're going to take this world map. Take this world map, okay? It's got faces on it because that's funny, okay? Pretty basic or whatever. Funny world map, it's fine. It's a pretty accurate size. Greenland's pretty small. Canada's accurate. The United States of America is. And then there's Russia, which is bending around that curve. And like that. And then there's small Antarctica real quick. In comparison to South America, barely any bigger. Now, you see, we're going to take this thing, okay? So it's a, we'll take this as the Northern Hemisphere, Okay. Now, we're going to flip it on its side, okay? Stop shaking, perhaps. Be useful. Now, you're going to see how it stretches the images and makes them not very much to scale. Will you stop moving? Okay, whatever. It stopped. You done? Stop! Okay, fine. We'll do it like this. Okay. We'll do it like this. As you can see, it's more stretched out like that. Like this side over here, everything is gigantic. You can barely tell what it is. But down here, it's extremely small and more detailed. Now you see, that's kind of how the Mercator projection works. Because it's projecting this onto a 2D surface. It's projecting some 3D onto a 2D surface. Meaning that in this case, Antarctica would be Antarctica would be about somewhere around here, along with Greenland, about here, and Africa barely here. Okay, you might think the United States is big on that map, and yes, you would be right. The United States would be about here, when in reality, it would be more about here. And then Canada, though, Canada is thick. It's a thick boy. So Canada would be about here, but in reality, it's somewhere around there. 90% of maps show that Canada is smaller than the United States, which is stupid. Now, Russia is giant. It's freaking gigantic. Like, it's a mega chonker. All right, so it would be about here. Extremely stretched. And then, we, and then we'd come over here where it would truly be in size. Now, you see, we freeze it real quick. You can see that. They're not actually all stretched out like that. They're all pretty decent sized. Okay, pretty decent sized. Okay, so this is all the countries in the Northern Hemisphere. Okay, let me turn it off. That way y'all can see. All right, they're all decent, decent countries. On my arm, they're all stretched out. In reality, they're pretty small. All together, this is a northern hemisphere, or the southern hemisphere, whatever you'd like it. Let me turn it off all the way, though. it's not reflecting. You see all these countries here? 
yeah. They're tiny and they show their true projection size. This is a good I, a, example. Now you're gonna take something like this, a globe, a 3D ball, a sphere. A sphere, that's exactly what it is. And um, we're, we're just gonna pretend that my entirety of the room is just flat-sided, a perfect square. Nothing on it, just ignore the stupid fish. I don't know why I put them on there. They're not stupid, but uh, whatever, off that topic. Um, and you're gonna project every single one on there. Now you're gonna see as they're gonna get smaller as you go up. No, they're gonna go. They're gonna go smaller as you go down. Like Argentina here, this is its true projection size. But on on here, it would be about from this point all the way down to this point on the map. And Chile would be about here. It would be pretty gigantic. In reality, it's about this big. Long boy. Exactly. And we're gonna take the. We're gonna take Greenland. Now you see, because it's in the north, it's gonna be gigantic. You're gonna wanna put it all the way up there. Now, if this was a projector doing the exact same thing, it's gonna be ginormous. It's gonna be ginormous. Like, I'm talking like it's gonna be stretched from there down to here. It's gonna be like in the middle of the equator on the map, as you see. It's pretty large, and then we look at its real size, it's nowhere near it. I guess we could refer to it as Denmark, but it's more like Alaska. It's an overseas territory, I suppose. Um, but that's exactly how it is. Uh, yes, we'll use this. Okay. True size. Okay, to be honest, this is actually really cool. Now, you see, look how big they are near the top. But look how more smaller they are down there by the bottom, near where the actual thing is. Right? Now you see, it's a projector. So it's going to go all the way across my room. Now you see, the, this is the true size of that gray stone. But, um... Hold on, what is it? Once I see the gray stone again, I'll show you. There's the gray stone, and that's how big it's projected. You see, it's much larger than it's originally meant to be. Not sure if you can see my face very well. I'm good looking, I think. Um, but like exactly, that's how it is, and it's gigantic on the roof. I have to say that these projections get larger and larger. If you know what I mean? You know. So that's uh, just a quick summary of how the Mercator projection works, and that's why Greenland or Denmark appears to be as big as Africa. In reality, it's not, but if you were to map that into a 3D surface, you would really see on how, like if you were to shrink it and turn it into a ball, let's just say you crumpled it up into a piece of paper, um, and then that that's how it is. You're gonna see the true size of it. Okay, I probably don't have long to left to record. This is kind of late at night, but I don't care. I don't have school tomorrow because it's election day recording this on a monday but yeah <laughs> one last look small gravestone on there it's a giant projection okay bye